Okay. Hi Joseph, I'm Bridie. Just want to come and take a seat. Yep. Okay. Thanks for coming in and seeing me today. Thanks for seeing me. So, how has your morning been so far? Oh, alright. Yeah, yeah. I've made it in here, so I accomplished one thing I wanted to do today. Oh, that's mm. good. Okay, and what, what have you come in to have a chat about? Um, well, I'm homeless and I've been sleeping out on park benches yeah. for the last couple of months um, and almost was sexually assaulted the other night and had to run away and hide and yeah, I was really scared about yeah. sleeping outside. Yeah, as you would be, that's like you've been attacked. Mm -hmm. um, did you did you know that person that was? Um, no, it was just through a group of men and males, and yeah, you know, I was just trying to sleep, and they kind of snuck up on me, and I was just lucky enough to get away. Yeah, very yeah. lucky. Okay. And so you've been homeless for quite a period of time. Yeah. Um, I was staying with my sister for a few weeks, but I haven't been on my medications and I'm schizophrenic, so. Oh, yeah. She couldn't really deal with me. Okay. Um, and then I went and lived with my partner, Jeff, on um, was okay. Um, and he just uh, turned very violent. And I had to leave there as well. So, uh, yeah, yeah. I didn't have anywhere to go. Okay. Yeah, you've had been homeless for quite a period of time. And, um, yeah. With your with your sister was um, it, was that like a close relationship or were you um, yes and no um, yeah. yeah when I'm on my meds it's a close relationship yeah okay when I'm not it's a bit strange mm -hmm. okay I'm pretty cool. mm -hmm. do you like do you feel better like if you're on your meds or are you no I don't like um, taking them. Oh, well, sometimes I wish I didn't have to take them, but I know that I am a better person, I'm a more level-headed person, and yeah. I'm a more normal person, so... Okay, so yeah. just so I get the understanding, like, do you agree that you're a better person and you feel better to take them yeah. and functioning? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any scripts on you, or have they been lost within all your weaving? Oh, I haven't seen my GP in a long time. I've got no transport and I don't yeah. have a phone and I don't have any money as well. Okay. It's, yeah, yeah. it's really difficult. Well, they're all linking together if you can't make appointments and money for um, you know, your scripts. Um, would you be willing for me to help you go and get those scripts filled so we can start you on your medication? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. To do that, we probably need to look at Centrelink. Have you been any contact with Centrelink or to get any? Um, no. They cut me off a while ago and I, because I just haven't been able to make my appointments. Oh, so, yeah. 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 Not looking too good. Okay. Would you like me to help you we'll go in and probably get some emergency relief started so we can mm -hmm. get the ball rolling and everything? Yeah. Um, you'd have me for me to work yeah. with you? Okay. Um, and with would it be okay if we, or if like I could make contact with your sister just to let maybe her know that your safety, that you've, you've seen me today? And, um, yeah, yeah, that would be great. That's um, okay. Her name is Kelly. Kelly? Um, I think her mobile number is uh, 0410 yep. 295 yep. 731. Okay. Could you? Or if you're happy to tell me a little bit more about your relationship with your sister? Um, uh, yeah, she's always there for me, um, unless I'm not taking my meds, which okay. is very hard for her. Yeah. Um, and she, she's pretty much my only family. Uh, I don't know, my parents have passed away a while oh, ago. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so there are periods where we're really, really close, and then yeah. there's periods where I'm a bit not on my meds and I can it's, it's really difficult for her, so yeah. yeah. I do want to keep in touch with her though and I do want to okay. have her in my life. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well I'm glad that you've um, been able to like um, identify someone that is a like a 
support person or a reconnection person that we can look into doing that for you. Um, and also, like I'll just hopefully I'm getting this right, but your relationship between your sister it seems to be strained, uh, strained when you're just not on your medical meds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Pretty much my relationship with anybody is oh. strained. Which I think that's also made it hard for me to find medication as well. Okay. Yep. Um, and you, you did mention that you had a, a previous partner, Uncle Jeff. So I was just um, wondering, uh, with looking at crisis accommodation for you, what area would you be a bit more comfortable in, like um, like a mixed accommodation or because um, some of them only take females or males or they can take um, a share house and sometimes take both. So I was, what, what would be more comfortable for you? I uh, hopefully a mixed place. A mixed one? I'm a little bit intimidated by men at the moment just because they understand um, from what's yeah. happened to you. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, um, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've, I'm just scared of being in institutions as well because last time I was there I was raped by um, another male patient and, I, and that's what scares me. Is, yeah. Also being homeless, being picked up by the police and taken there. Um, okay. Yeah. Did, was that incident reported or you just... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, let it go. Yeah, I was... Yeah, I felt at the time there was not much I could do. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, clearly accommodation, medication, um, and getting some link, are some major um, goals that we can get started. Um, mm -hmm. Hopefully that will you know, um, help you out and not leave you um, living on park benches um, and you're not safe. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. oh. And you're happy for me to work with you when we're yeah. Yeah. Some famous memory. Oh. Thank you, compliment. Um, with, do you know who your GP was or was that just um, was he in this town? Or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, he's been my GP since I was a little boy. So. Okay. He's um, Dr. John Smith. Okay. Yeah. And you you had a good rapport with that doctor? You felt comfortable? Yeah, yeah, I feel comfortable with him just because he knows my history. Okay. He knows what I'm like. Yeah, okay. I'd like to stay with him. Okay. And you're happy for me to maybe um, make some inquiries and yeah, yeah. to work on your behalf? And, yeah. yeah. Tea and coffee facilities here. Um, I can once we finish here, I'll go out and make a tea, cup of tea and coffee. Um, I'll see if I can get all nice and food vouchers for you. Um, even though like, we've just slotted you in this little 10 minute section, would you be able to maybe come back and see me in the Sarvi or yeah. that's okay? Because yeah. um, I'm going to make some referrals, see if we can get you in um, for accommodation because um, mm -hmm. you don't have a, a backup plan or no friends that you could even just. If something falls through tonight, we don't have any. I can't fit you in. I'm just trying to think of. No, yeah, I don't ever have anyone. Anyone? No. no friends that could take you just for. Mm -hmm. Jeff was. Um, yeah. yeah. And that wasn't a positive relationship. We don't really. Yeah. Any of that contact with him? Yeah. Yeah. I, think, um, I tried to stay away from him. He's mean. He's mean? I don't want to see you back there in that relationship. Mm -hmm. That makes harm to you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'm going to get this accommodation sorted. Um, we'll go have a cup of tea and coffee, go get you something to eat. Um, and then if you just want to pop back in the afternoon, just come and ask for me and I'll we'll go from there and let's see if we can get you into cross accommodation. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for coming to see me. Thanks, Jim.